Caesar! As dawn begins, the feeling is that it's the dawn of a new species, that its intelligent apes have inherited the Earth. The thing that happened between Rise and our film is that Weta has taken a quantum leap forward. This film is actually, in many ways, more challenging than the first film in terms of its scope, its scale. Obviously, something that was going to be huge to the success of this film, because on the last film, we had fairly large arenas, but this time, almost everything was outdoors. Never has it been done like this before. We decided to use 3D cameras, and really what we wanted to do was take that technology that Weta has perfected and apply it into exterior sets even more than we did on Rise. We're working, for the most part, in a less controlled environment. Motion capture works because it can see what the actors are doing, and when you're shooting in a forest full of trees, that makes it really tricky. So we had to specially arrange dozens of cameras every time we change location just to try to be able to really accurately get the actors' performances. And the wireless cameras were great working in this kind of environment because we didn't have to worry about laying cables and maintaining cables. It gave us a lot of freedom. They are using motion capture cameras and tracking markers and witness cameras to capture all of the detail of the actors' performances. And then they're tracking that detail into these photorealistic ape models. The other thing, though, that was a real huge help on this film was the actual active body marker strands. And so you could Velcro that to the performers, you know, and they could roll around, they could fight, they could do all the active stuff that they needed to do as apes. <laughs> then really a lot of it just comes into the software that we've written to help translate that after we've acquired all the information to really just more accurately understand what the actors are doing and to be able to see that. The hair simulation, the skin simulation, the, the moisture simulation, everything that they do in terms of the actual apes' bodies is so much more realistic. One of the big things that we have had to introduce into the pipeline that was only barely seen you know, in the last film was this whole element of wet fur. We see the apes when they're dry, we see them when they're damp, we see them when they're kind of soaking wet. It's um, an incredibly complicated system. And that's the amazing magic of what Weta is doing, is finding the way in which they can take the parts of the actors and the parts of the apes and meld them in such a way that that emotion comes through. Seeing the results is incredibly exciting.